just get that one because they want it. We give them the mandate and the mantle for them to serve us. So by leaving that office, honorably, they're supposed to have their benefits. They have to leave the office with the benefits whereby they will not have a doubt in their mind if their time is about to leave, uh, to leave the office. They will be skeptical to leave. Some of these linguists in the offices, they, they are not having a future and they are not seeing a future ahead of them. You have so many former presidents. When they leave office, they will be working on a consultancy basis and they will be helping their countrymen. And they can be a good advisor to the current president because they've been there. If those people are not comfortably living where they are, somebody who served, even an honorable member, just a parliamentarian, Let's take an example by ourselves. None of us here would like to leave this office. At the end of your time, you became another district in the district. Because you don't have any future. If the law can confine us, we cannot engage in any other business while we are holding a public office. Because of what? Conflict of interest. Is the same thing applied to the president? While they are in the office, they are not entitled to any other business apart from the business of the country. If they are basing their, their focus, their mind, their, 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 their integrity to serve this country better, I don't see no reason they should be uh, depriving the private or the privilege they need to have. Gambia was fortunate to have only two presidents. We all know the, four, the first president losing have the privilege because they act like what we are trying to amend right now. He was unfortunately not here. But if the law is, uh, uh, law is uh, enacted right now, I think the beneficiaries of the families need to be considered. Because he served this country for almost three decades. And the second president also. We are not here to say that he doesn't have the right to have the privilege. Whatever privilege he deserves, when he doesn't have any conflicting with the law, he has every right to, to benefit whatever benefit in that way. But guess what? And I want some of the members, I know still now there are so many supporters in this country. But we have to accept. There was a mistake. I, I will never sit here and say the former president never do anything good in this country. He did. We cannot deny him that right. But we have to understand also, there have been so many heinous crimes in this country, who, which he was tied to it. So the law has to take its course. Where the boundaries are, that's where we're going to uh, curtail. The right of any of the beneficiaries of the former offices will be protected. We are not doing this for an individual. Not for the first president, uh, former president, not for the second former president, not for the incoming uh, former president. We are trying to sanitize the office of the former president. They are our leaders and we need to protect them, we need to guide them unless and until God has decided when their time is up. If anybody thinking that the current president is the one who is about to benefit this one, yes, he might be looking to benefit because he's the one who is starting right now. But you don't base a law or you don't make a law to satisfy an individual or a subset of an individuals. What we witness here in these chambers today is very unfortunate. But I think Gambians should know the genuine National Assembly members of this country. They are trying to score a political score in this matter, but I think they will fail awfully. Because every opposition in this country, you are there to have a presidency in this country. If you cannot protect your future leaders coming or your future opposition leaders coming to be a president, if you cannot protect those integrities, then you are not, you are not, you are not serving your own justice by yourself. If anybody thinks that by rejecting this bill, you are scoring a political score. You are not helping your own self. You are not helping your future. This cannot be a bill of somebody or somebody you hate so much because he's going to benefit in that. Who knows? Another family.
five to uh, ten years down the line, the president might come from this particular National Assembly we are talking here right now. Who knows? 2017, who sees the coming of this current president? Nobody can see that. And we have been seeing so, so many people vying for that position for quite a long. But God doesn't give them the privilege for them to serve this position as yet. So let's try to focus, at least let's try to be genuine. By dealing with that the country cannot be politicized in every aspect. Even the good things about the, the country's future, we have to politicize it. Let's try to curtail ourselves. Let politics have to be a time. When it's time for election, go give your, how do you call it, uh, sensitize your people, yearn for whatever you are looking for. If they trust you, they will give you the mandate for you to serve them. But as long as the election is over, Gambians will need to go back to the drawing board to see and to concentrate how the country is going to move forward. But not everything should be politicized. It's very pathetic. Seriously, it's very pathetic to see the National Assembly working out because they don't want to table a bill, which is the future of our presidents. And still, you are encouraging them. Whatever you do, yes, the government didn't do that, the president didn't do that. But those, that will make the president to voluntarily leave the power when it's time for you are denying them for not having that. What do we need? There's nothing here which is extraordinary, which Gambians should be crying about. Who is here dealing this national assembly? Who doesn't want to have a package when you leave the office? Not the president, but every national assembly, all of us here. We want to have a package. How can the president go home with only fifty thousand dollars without any other benefits? And when you are serving, you cannot be a friend. Not everybody can be a cup of tea, and you cannot be a cup of coffee for everybody in the country. You might be subjected to attack. Your family, especially with our unlimited democracy we have in this country. Right now, we need to revisit ourselves and strengthen our laws to make sure that not even only the president, but the leaders who serve in this country need to be protected. Because what we are seeing in this country right now is scared. If the civilians can have the audacity to go after the, uh, how do you call the security personnel, it might be enough for tomorrow. So by doing so, we need to protect. The protection should start from here. We have to protect this uh, this noble office. Yeah, to give we, them the right. Can we, can we the point of order?